it's going to be a fun one. We're down to just eight teams left. We're winding it down here as we approach the end of February. Yeah, it's been an amazing, long and fun road, hasn't it? And these teams are going to hold nothing back as they get further into finding out who is going to be in the top four to chase down that 20K prize pool. Man. Yeah, that $20,000 for the teams that are still in the playoffs looking to vie their position into that number one winning spot up through the neutral zone. Riketsi had it on his stick there. Couldn't pull the trigger, but does there and scores. The first opening goal comes from the man that moved to the left defenseman position in Kriketsi, and he leads the playoffs in points and continues to do so here. Ninth goal of the playoffs. Well, it doesn't matter, I guess, Nick. If you move him to the back, if you move him to the front, he's still going to find the back of the net, and the captain comes in and gets one. What a gorgeous goal coming down from the point, activating himself and finding the back of the net against a very tough team in Frolunda. A massive body check indeed. As we'll see if Frolunda can kill off this penalty. Goons looking to double their lead. Nice quick passing shot. There scores! Piku oh. Rogger from the left circle makes this one 2-0. Yeah, and that's why they have the third best regular season power play. You know, these guys know how to put the puck in the back of the net, and that just shows you how moving the puck around can definitely uh, put it in the back of the net, and they do that. It's just a two passes, finding the open player for the easy one-timer, and that's NHL 22 in a hand basket there, Nick. Slowly. Plenty of time left on the clock here as they try to dance this one to the middle. They will off the rebound from the broken play off the skate. And Pleamaker cuts into this lead. And Pleamaker wanted to get Frolunda back into this game, and he does so here with a great play and resilience from him in front of the net. He just doesn't give up on that puck, and you got to keep going until that whistle blows. And there's a perfect definition of it as he just pushes himself to the front of the net, follows up on that puck, and just shoots it right over the goaltender. Nick, you're right. It was a little bit of a broken play, but you got to stay on that puck, and he gets himself in good puck position behind the defense and in between the goalie, and that's where your defense needs to be to stop uh, those goals from going in. Banked along, picked up Jay Toro. It's kicked along the boards now to the right side. Out for Keskitalo. Wow. They moved that one up quickly. Now trying to go on the counter attack. There it is! And a score there off the counter attack. A quick play out of the zone. And Keskitalo, who started that play, ends it with a goal. That one's cleared out once more. And the Goons will take. Game number one, and Banks another one there as three Goons players were down on the ice and a sliding and flailing Cafe could not make that save. That is a statement goal if I've ever seen one, Tegan. You know, the Goons did a fantastic job of taking this W here. As they take the W, the Goons win game number one by a scoreline of four to one oh. to the net. Has got to be frustrating for Lunder right now. Yeah, it has to be, but their defense is so good. Loimu stopping a perfect two on one there, letting for Lunder be this aggressive. Wraparound chance from Fleemaker from behind the net. That's what he wanted to do in game one. He finally makes it happen in game two, and Fleemaker opens up the scoring. It's 1 0 for Frolunda. Are really trying to fight their way up and make themselves into the top final four. They're working hard to get there. Period number two underway there from behind the net again. And this time it's a quick pass to Patslift who beats him on the short side. It's two nothing for Frolunda. And it's working so far as they're testing the goalie but haven't been able to beat him but once on those attempts. As there's a turnaround shot on the counter attack and Kriketsi gets his first goal again for Goons. It's now two to one and they are starting to chomp at the bit. This guy has to be sitting in a zip chair. There's just no question. Uh, he's all over the ice. Um, we see Piku Rogger get into it a little bit as the left winger coming into this game, but he sends it over to none other than Kriketsi, and this game's opened up here as uh, we get one minute left in the second period. Fincona can't get that puck in, though. Chipped along. In for Piku Rogger. Trying to flip it behind them. Can't get there. Frolunda will take it to the corner, and they will take game number two by a scoreline of 2-1. to one. Left circle spinning. Center point, Jay Toro. They'll slide across. That's going to hit a body. Sadapoika couldn't get a twig on it. Cascatalo. One time shot from the center point. That is none other than Kriketsi again with an 
opening goal for his team goons, his 11th of the playoff. <laughs> As we go up, Kerkensi with a wrist shot. A beauty of a goal there. He cuts across the center through the defense and makes this one 2 nothing. What a gorgeous goal, and guess who? None other than Kriketsi, and what a cut pass play that is. You know I love that, Nick, and that is just an absolute gorgeous touch right through the middle, and a bing-bang play by Kriketsi, and he's happy to have another one for the boys, and the goons have to be loving this guy right now impressed with the goons right now and how they're playing i love this for Linda team eki and these guys are absolutely phenomenal <laughs> wow. oh my goodness as we were saying how much we love the team and the beauty of the goal through the legs pass across the mouth of the goal and the sharpest of low angles makes this one two to one they didn't pull the goalie, five on five here. Aggressive face-off win, one back cleanly by the Goons. The only way they could win that face-off and not be in trouble as the Goons take game number three by a score of two to one. They move ahead two games to one in the series. Piku Rager behind the net now. Up for Eki. was stolen away, two on one if they hurry. Patsov trying to throw it on to Eki and he scores! Eki! Off the breakaway, he beat out two defenders to his weak side and buries that one for the opening goal of game number four. A great job, and that's the guy you want to believe in is Eki. You get him going back door. He's not going to miss that. The dive, almost a fantastic job by the defensive goons, but this is exactly where Froanda needs to be. They can't take their foot off the gas. They need to pour it on now. Now two, quick rush to counterattack. Energy's turning up here in the third period. Not much time left on the clock. Fed in front. There it is. Rolanda to Patsla for a 2-0 lead now late in the third period. I'd say that's probably the dagger. And what a little L move by Eki to fake that he was going for the shot to make the D-man come towards him. And he just play, plays that one across last second to Patsla. Face off one there. They got it. It's not a point good. It trickles in from Kikensi. Through the five hole of And this game is two to one. Time winding down here. Push win to the corner. Or to the half boards, rather. Loyman will just flip it to the corner. And that's going to do it. Frolunda comes from behind and forces a game five, winning this one two to one. Our third two to one result in this game. Uh, no one really wants to get ahead of themselves and take that chance. I know Frolunda already did take that chance, and they get one there on the face-off play. Face-off play, the rebound shot, the set play to cut in for Pat's left in the centerman. That started the winning draw, gets the ending goal there for that play. First period now, one nothing for Frolunda. It's so deadly once you get the puck in front of the net like that. When you have three forwards going, you get the shot on. You're just hoping for a rebound. And great job by Frolunda to capitalize. He's just trying to throw it on and take a chance right now, Nick. Is when you're in a game five like this, everything's got to go on like that. And they get another one on the faceoff again. I apologize. No, you're fine. The rebound meta is going to work here. And this time to plea maker. His seventh goal of the season. That one's from Eki. Off the set play again, and they are finding what's working right now, getting behind the defense of the Goons. That's Kriketsi in front. Oh, man, back door there was open. And Keskatalo could not pull the trigger. Two on one back the other way. And there it is. Playmaker, a beauty from Eki, his first assist of the game. And it's 3-0 for Frolunda. That hurts. That hurts really bad for the Goons. He can't not capitalize on three penalties and then just like that the momentum goes the other way doesn't it nick and we see this oh so often we see huge saves at one end and goals at the other and then one thing that is famous as well is penalty kills and goals at the other end and if this story keeps telling the tail of the tape is going to be a win for frolunda and jay toro will clear it out of the zone flipped up to himself tried to chip that one along get past the defense in frolunda can't do it timu now on the breakaway backhand chance and it goes in over the flying poke check. Timu flies into the goal, and it's 4-0 for Frolunda. As Playmaker's goal shot was about to go in for a goal, 
and Eki's animation took it away. But that time it didn't happen. Potslav. Vincona gets beat on the glove side. And it's 5 nothing. So that, that's the staple, if anything, right there, Tegan. A great series by them. A great comeback by them. And they are going to be checking themselves into the top four. The top four as Frolanda HC wins out in game five. Cape gets his first shutout of the playoffs. Two in the regular season. And they move on to the semifinals here for the Caps Gaming Showcase EU division. They take this one five to nothing.